women badass gals some of them are more than pals our show can be a little gay but if you're not that's okay you can listen and have fun either way Xena Star Wars Doctor Who guests and music and reviews Game of Thrones why Nona too we promise there's something for you she nerds out we're girls that like girls that like dirty things Hello and welcome to the She Nerds Out podcast. I'm Kat, a little late this week. I'm Wendy. And I'm drinking wine. <laughs> this is Tara. On today's episode, we have some nerd news. We're jumping into the mail sack. But before we do that, hey, <gasps> Wendy, are there any birthdays? Well, first of all, I didn't know we were announcing our drinks. I'm drinking Amarula. A South African variety of Bailey's or type of liqueur. Well, I feel left out. I have some soda stream water. Boo. Mm. Well, <laughs> good for you. Boo. <laughs> okay. Let me jump to the birthdays. I'm going to jump ahead to June the 30th because it's, it's a light month. Mm. Um, so I'm going to go athlete this time. With Michael Phelps, because he is mm. considered the greatest swimmer of all time. Interesting. Okay. I mean, he was, uh, he was, uh, if you're watching the Olympics when Michael Phelps was doing his thing, it was sure. very exciting. Yeah. He was winning everything. He's a yes. giant man. This is with a long tough one. Man. And he has like webbed hands, right? Like literally. Probably. He probably yeah. has webbed feet too. But I, all, all the things are webbed. This is tough because I have no concept of how old he is because of just the timing of just watching the Olympics for so long. and Sure. He was a kid when he started, so it's yeah. really hard to tell. Right. And he was is in how he... many Olympics? All is... in? All and then, and then in the Olympics, you're done so early, right? You can only go for so long. So is yeah. he 32 or is he more like 36? Ooh. That's okay. What I was, I'm asking you. I was going to say, oh, see, I was going to say 35, but that seems too young, but it might not be. Or is he older than me? I honestly don't know. I cannot remember you what you need in time. I'm going to say I'm going to say 39. I'm going to say 37. <gasps> I think you're both wrong. I think he's 38. He was born in 1985. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. he's 38 then. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna, I was, I was okay. figuring it out by I mean, your age because <laughs> I know we you're were pretty close. I, I think it's a tie. I think we, we boxed both. a bit. You were you were right we around it. You were, you were you were we, very close. We both win that one. Uh, let's go to July the 2nd. I'm mm. going to do this for wow. our soccer Aren't fans out there. Talking about July. Good Lord. You know what that's right. Uh, <laughs> Alex Morgan of the women's national soccer team. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. July 2nd. Oh, this is another one. It's hard <laughs> time. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to say 34. 35. Congratulations, Kat. She was born in 1989. Oh, I knew you were close. I knew. That's why I just won up to you because I thought you had to be close. <laughs> yeah. The price price is right at it. You're doing yeah. very well on the guesses. Now, July 3rd is a gentleman. You may love him. You may hate him. Mm. I, res I respect what he has done in his career. He may be a little crazy outside of it, but I still love my Tommy Tom Cruise. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. And I'm okay. looking for a Mission Impossible. Okay. You rarely oh, find God. a better looking man than when he was in Cocktail. I'm just saying that. Sure, yeah. 60. Yeah. Oh, Tom Cruise. I'm going to say, oh, man. I'm going to say 62. Mm. Once again, you bookended it. And this is oh, hard to say. Oh, Tom Cruise says is turning 61. 61 years old. Tom Cruise is 61 Amazing. years old. Damn, and he may dude. look a little older, but look at him. He still looks pretty good. And he's doing a freaking jumping out of planes or whatever he's yeah, doing on this. He like, it's the rotor placenta. Rotor it's impossible. <laughs> it's something. What God knows what this man is into. He but... Oh, God. Is that what he does? Well... That's what I you did. do, you. But Tom, <laughs> you're you're owning it, man. He's doing got to be something. Right. I'll mm. tell you what. I my brother who works in the industry. He's he uh, he works on set. He's worked on multiple Tom Cruise movies. He's my brother says he is the nicest guy. Yeah, he takes care of his crews. Yes, ironically enough. And uh, no, good dude. Good mm -hmm. dude. 
I've heard I've heard that. I've heard he's a decent dude. Now you may uh, you know he's got the Scientology thing going on. He's done some crazy well, things in the past. Nobody's you've heard, perfect. Uh, no, you've heard. <laughs> also Hope you don't have any crazy mental things, health but... needs because uh, he ain't gonna help you. <laughs> no, but that's right. Oh, he'll like say. Psychology is a sham. A lot of aspects. You'll say what Andrew Tate said today that. Um, oh, oh God, I missed oh, that. No. That what depression is a choice. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, and then God. Elon Musk jumped in there and said, "Oh yeah, you know, I think some people might have really have depression, <laughs> um, but I oh, think no. that the drugs for that aren't the way to go. That people just need to take some ketamine. <sighs> ketamine." Yeah, the, these these dumb fucks need to shut up. Uh, we need to stop taking SSRIs and take. Ketamine. By the way, I almost did Elon Musk's birthday because it was, I think, tomorrow. Oh no! From our, no from celebrating. I passed. No, 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 no. I passed. No. Thank you for that. Oh, you know what a choice You're welcome. is? You're welcome. Is me punching you in the face. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's much, my that was pretty much everyone's response. <laughs> He's so punchable. Yeah. Um, okay. Wendy, can I add a, a a birthday into the mix that we've we've missed? I've remissed by not mentioning Uh-oh. this earlier. Uh-oh. My uh. wife Leah, who I'm married to, uh-huh. it was her birthday this last weekend. And oh, wanna, happy say, birthday! We're not going to yeah. guess her age because that's rude. Happy but we're, we're going to say a very happy birthday Them's to the Leah, rules of the game. who doesn't listen, so she'll never hear this. What? But. Not even outside the door while we're recording? <laughs> oh, I mean, that's the most she listens to it is when she's walking <laughs> past the door. Uh, but happy birthday, Leah. Yay, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. So I did something this weekend. Oh, boy. This mm. is Tara, of course. Um, and of course. Uh, it was with our uh, some of our friends, Noe and other cat. Banana and, cat? And banana, ca- banana cat. <laughs> Uh, and my girlfriend, Rachel, mm. uh, we went to a soccer game, the Women's Soccer League here. Um, we have the Angel City football uh, football team, football, uh, what is it, ACFC, um, football club. And I had never been, and Noe is a season ticket holder. And if you hang out with Noe, <laughs> she is a snap listener, and she's listening right now. I just know she is. Of course. What up? Noe has been talking for years about – you got to go to the ACFC. The, you got to get tickets. You got to go yeah. to these games. They're so fun. And then, like, I'm slowly, like, over time meeting more and more people. And, like, randomly, they're just like, have you been to an ACFC game? They're so yep. freaking fun. You got to go to an Angel City game. Yep. And, like, there's so many lesbians there. <laughs> like, there's so many. It's so gay friendly. Like, you got to go. And and I love soccer. I played soccer from since five years old through college and beyond. Uh, that's where I, how I uh, tore my meniscus as an oh. adult. So, mm. but you know, yeah, but worth it. You know, still okay. love it. Okay. And I love so- soccer. I love watching it. Um, and uh, so I was like, yeah, I, you know, I've been wanting to go for a long time. So finally, I was just like, fuck it. I saw that the, uh, I was searching because when we found the Pride Night for Dodgers, nice. um, I was like, I wonder if Angel City has a Pride Night. So I looked and I was like, oh, cool. It's coming up and it's on a day that works for me. So I got the tickets, and I tried to find a section close to Noe, but Noe's in the fancy section. Fancy. Um, they have the padded seats, and you you literally can't even go visit them during the game because they go through a separate entrance um, for only the season ticket holders. So if I wanted to say hi, I'd have to lean over a glass part. Like, no way. No way. <laughs> and she'd be they like, separate oh, them no, out from look the riffraff. Yeah. Saying. Call yeah. security. So uh, and don't you get like, doesn't she get like endless like food and drinks yes. and shit like that? Amazing. They get free food and beer, I and know. the tickets awesome. are very okay. Let's just say her season tickets were like fifty dollars more per game than okay. what I paid for one this one game. We had the tickets. Okay, I'll say it was about a hundred bucks a ticket. Okay, very like reasonable, but the Pretty seats were like for these days, right? the The seats were like so close to the field, <laughs> and it was very. <laughs> crowded it was like i'll say they said it was a sold out game i mean That's awesome the stadium was awesome i've never been to that stadium it's now bmo stadium which i think is a terrible name it used to be like bank stadium or something it's like all that. bad um but just bmo <sighs> it's, I don't know, it's too close to just bo um <laughs> but this it's beautiful it's brand new it's down by usc um the university down there cool. near downtown um mm, so great part of town 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's in the nicer area a little bit. It's <laughs> good. Um, so, uh, parking was fifty dollars. Oh, get the fuck out of here! No, no. Are you that, serious? I pulled in and I, I literally was like, I felt. <gasps> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? But this shit? $50 fucking dollars. <gasps> and I guess that's no. what it is all the time. I thought, because they had like a little pride event before the game. I was like, is this for the pride event? <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Um, yeah, so I almost had a <sighs> live rant right there. But I was like, you know what? Play it cool. Be cool, be cool. Chadwick. Don't be that person. <laughs> Don't want to be, be oh, labeled a Karen my. on TikTok or some shit. <laughs> Just pay the fucking fifty dollars and go in, enjoy your day, Damn. whatever. Come this far, you're not going to stop <laughs> yeah, at the not. parking gate. <laughs> no. So Damn. get in there, okay. and uh, it's awesome. It was so fun. Okay, they are lesbians everywhere. <laughs> okay, lots of gays. Love it. So uh, just queer, LGBTQ, everything plus ever it was just so friendly just so <laughs> all the letters just everything plus. everything inclusive it was and i was like no i was like is it always like this you know there's not always the full pride of it in the front but she said there's sure. always like a tailgate and like oh, fun God. stuff going on up front it's fun it was so cool i was like this is like what i want like when i think of like the l word right or what i want like my l word fun hangs to be like this yeah. is what i want it to be like i don't want like the super fancy schmancy like this is like cool folks the sporty folks like wanting to see the game and everyone was like so into the game awesome. i was so impressed with people they were they knew the players names they didn't even announce the players full names they were just like so like ed and the dodgers would be like clayton kershaw pitching right we don't want to yeah. mention that guy he's why whatever. why why him ew i don't know <laughs> it was his first name that popped in my mind we don't like him right now at, or, or at all really if he's gonna be like that way mookie um Betts, but anyway okay mookie bets yeah mookie bets. Mookie, bets, mookie. Bets, bets, bets. all right but they are just like the announcer would just be like julie and the whole crowd would be like art you know Aww. so yeah it was really it. fun uh, everyone and like just everyone around me was like locked into the game the whole time um and it was really great and so rad. it was really easy to get into it and we were so close and just like at <laughs> field level pretty much did, did they like say hey chadwick we need you we need you're forward yeah. now like, get in there I'm like me me okay <laughs> i got my little gay rainbow acfc scarf oh cute um, and, uh, I'm really bearing the lead here because one oh. thing with ACFC yeah, you are. is if you don't know, oh. they are co-owned by a few folks you might know, <laughs> um, including, uh, like Natalie Portman, mm -hmm. Jennifer Garner. There's mm -hmm. like a whole list of other folks of celebrities that yeah. co-own this team. Mm -hmm. So from time to time they show up. And so no, he's like <sighs> always sending us pictures because of course they like right down by where they are. Right. So they're actually right in front of the section we're sitting in. They're just at literal field level. Um, so Jennifer Garner was there and she right. was just like chilling, just so cool, just hanging out. And she was watching the game, sitting. Um, they have like a little row of seats that are just kind of like down, but you could just steer right there. Awesome. Um, so she was there cheering on the team, just in a cute little baseball hat and little <laughs> jeans and a T-shirt. Um and then uh, up at the top of the section next to me, kind of, there was like one section between me and where Noe was. Okay. And another section in the fancy section that you can't go into. Got it. Um, unless you have the season ticket. Um, and there was, uh, Noe texted me and she goes, look to the section to your right. And then you'll see Jodie Foster and her wife <laughs> sitting at the top of your section, at the section next to Legend. you. Legend. What? Jody and I was like, Legend and then I was Foster. like. Mm -hmm. Fuck this game. What? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it was very hard to concentrate on the game. So, of course, I spent, like, the rest. And they were, o they were almost literally, they're, like, to the right of us and one row up. So it was really hard wow. to actually oh. be. Yeah, so you had like, better seats? Or I guess so no, we could actually see them oh my much gosh. better. Because she's looking from, like, a few down below a little more. And right. then looking up. Um, but... I I saw her wife more than really I mm -hmm. I I couldn't really see much else but I I just recognized the her hair uh, but it was hard <laughs> for me I couldn't get a good picture of her like Jennifer was really easy. hair yeah uh, but uh, her her wife's hair actually oh, was I see. like okay. yeah, great it. yeah it was more um, noticeable um, but yeah you know like very dressed down incognito like just sure. look like 
cool sports fan, you Going know. To soccer game. Um, and yeah, just chilling with the folks, you know, <laughs> not in a suite, not in a, you know. That's um, awesome. And uh, it was pretty awesome. People. Yes. And uh, just love no. That's just like the kind of text you get from Noe, or just like. Look, oh, here I am with pink. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here exactly. is Here's Jennifer Garner and uh, Natalie Portman at the soccer game I'm at right now. Yeah. Um, look up it, to your right and you'll see I'm Jodie trying to Foster. scope out pictures to see if I can find any that someone like, may have taken. You know, uh, there you go. Oh, and then, and then when I get home, uh, was it you, Wendy, or somebody that sent me the link? Um, Coach Beard from Ted Lasso. It, yeah. It may two of my friends. Oh, well, Tam. Was Tam. Tam. Um, you guys, Tam, uh, one of our, uh, when, or not, uh, warrior nun. Oh, of course. Friends. I saw her. I actually just saw her like turn it up and like wave to somebody else. I was like, oh, hey, that's him. And I texted her. I was like, are you at the game right now? Um, <laughs> and so then later I saw there was a, you guys, so, uh, was, I was in the Twitter post yeah. and it's literally Tam and her wife doing a selfie with coach Beard and like leaning up and being in a <laughs> selfie with them from Ted Lasso. What's the guy's name? Brendan Hunt. Brendan Hunt. Oh, of course. It's like a star-studded affair, this Incredible. soccer game. It's, so, it's crazy. It is and the like fans a... were amazing. They were cheering and playing the drums and music the whole time. It was singing. It we was, won. like, amazing. Um, Did we well, win? you know, that's the thing with soccer. Uh-oh. Sometimes no one wins. Oh, oh no. I see. It was a 0-0 zero, zero oh, tie. But it was fun. a very exciting game. Zero, there was zero? a lot of 0-0. Zero, zero. It was a oh, lot of near misses. That's it was shame. a lot of... They just didn't drama. try hard enough, I guess. There was a lot of drama, you know. We got wow, yeah. soccer on the podcast. <laughs> we got a soccer denier here, I guess. <laughs> denier. Soccer does not exist. <laughs> um, yeah, it was great. I really, I want to go back. I'm actually thinking of like looking into like a mini season package. I can't fully commit because it's like it's, it's a, a lot. lot of, and they're all over the place on the days. You really, yeah, there's no it, way you could. You, I you gotta pick. set aside like this is the year I'm getting a season pass and yeah. only going to these games. Like you have to right. really clear the calendar out. So I'm telling you, I want to be in those padded fantasies uh, <laughs> with a special entrance. It sounds pretty great, um, and yeah. I gotta go. You know, Noe's Noe's been hitting us hard, getting us to go. It's not that I don't want to go; it's just hard finding the time. Yeah, and it's yeah. like that's oh, and then and then there was an after party. After. Oh, so right. you know, usually how they're like Can't pushing me out of the party. stadium. Um, I guess after every game, mm. they're like, no, wait out the traffic, come on up to the rooftop, and you can hang out with all everybody else, all the other gays, chill out. That's cool. Um, there's a bar up there, it's beautiful. You get to see as you're at like the top of the stadium, so you can overlook and see the whole stadium, you can overlook and see the Coliseum, you're right there by the um, nice on campus. Mm-hmm. Um, it was awesome. You got, they got two bars open. It's like really, it looks very swanky up there. Huh. Um, but it's very casual. People just hanging out. I'm telling you, I felt like I was in the episode of an L, The L Word, but like in a really more fun <laughs> way last night or the other night. So it was full, like really fun. That's awesome. Maybe next, How? where are they in the season? Are we in the middle? Is it towards the end? The middle. No, we said okay. the, it goes through October. So there are more oh. opportunities. Okay. Ap- maybe after the World Cup, because that's coming up. Yeah. So it's going to be kind of a hiatus of sorts. So maybe we could do like a snop soccer day or something. That would yeah. be fun. I'd like to do that with you guys. That would be really fun. Um, I'm here, down. Here's a question that you don't have to answer. Um, you, you, I think it's the first time you, you've named your girlfriend on the podcast, Rachel. Um, does she listen to the podcast? <laughs> uh, she she has, but not regularly, no. Huh. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a habit. She has listened to, to I think, at least one. The okay. Zena. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It's probably, yeah. you know, it's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's what that's kind of what she thinks so it's yeah kinda, she's kind of like you, gotta, oh, you just you, you know separate you know the celebrity <laughs> from the person she knows that's fine, <laughs> <All> fine. <laughs> uh, uh speaking of celebrities tomorrow as of this recording it's uh it's the the xena picket on the wga uh strike picket line is tomorrow we're doing it 
uh, Renee O'Connor is supposed to be there. Catherine Fouget seems to be the one who's like, or who has organized this. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, I think she said that Rob and Lucy and Catherine, the three of them are buying everybody tacos. So the taco truck is going to be courtesy of Renee, uh, sorry, Rob and Lucy and Catherine. Rob is the Very nice. producer and uh, Xena creator. Rob Tappert. Sure. Rob Tappert, sorry. Lucy would be Lucy Lawless. I forget there are people that I might forget not know Catherine those things. Fuget. Not Catherine. Knows them. Catherine's <laughs> a writer. Rob and Lucy, how do you not know? Come yeah. on now. Uh, okay. So that's exciting. Yeah. And uh, some other writers will probably, oh, Stephen Sears is going to be there. And yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a good time, um, you know, supporting the writers, but also kind of celebrating this little show called Xena. So it should be fun. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. Like lots I'm of war cries. <laughs> yes. I'm really excited. I got to put my sunscreen on. Yeah. Don't forget. Hat. Look, Tara and I were outside. You can't see here. Tara and I were outside for uh, a substantial amount of time on Saturday. And we both have very awkward tan lines from the shirts mm -hmm. we were wearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your sunscreen. Uh, I can tell you most sunscreen. of the people I see walking in front of our studios every day wear a hat. Mm -hmm. ah. They all have hats. Most of them have hats. I'll get a hat. To shield yeah. them from the sun. Don't neglect your hands and thumbs because when you're holding the la the <laughs> picket sign, ah, you'll good get tip. The burn. That's good yep. tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take precautions. Mm -hmm. Well, they say that the you know costumes are encouraged, so maybe yeah. people. I'm will not show. wearing a costume because no? I don't fit in it. All right. I will wear. No. I'm wearing a Xena shirt though. Yeah, I think I will too. <clears throat> you gotta. Dim's the rule. <sighs> It'll be good. We'll you could probably fun. fit into my Callisto costume, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I'd get a very yeah. weird tan in that thing. Yeah, <laughs> that would not be a good look. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take some photos down there, maybe post them on the old Twitter, yeah. Insta, and uh, hopefully we'll have a fun and exciting story for everybody uh, next maybe week. Maybe we'll turn the tide. Maybe Xena. Look, I'm on a win streak. So I'm, <laughs> I'm planning to end the strike tomorrow. <laughs> And the power right. of Xena. Wendy Battle Winner on. Woody is what we call it. Mm, that's right. I, I'm going to change the world now. That'd oh. be great, Wendy. If you if you could uh, wrap up this whole strike for everybody, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Will do. Yeah. Will do. Okay. Great. Because you know what I was thinking? If this thing drags on, there's going to be a lull where we're not going to have new shows to talk about on our podcast. It's going to hit us where we podcast. It is. It is we're going <laughs> to. But when that happens, in our we can sensitive go back and watch area, <laughs> in our nether regions and if wow. uh we can go back and watch some of these things that we've been saying we'd watch like uh That's you know true. uh desert hearts and oh god we gotta watch things. that or maybe we can go back oh, we never did watch cats <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh, god. Right. i mean there's so many things that we can go back and and revisit if if the new entertainment tries out yeah but i mean you know there are there's some stuff that kind of get you know squeaking through um but yeah, you're right, Wendy. Like yeah. this is this could be an opportunity for us to you know get caught yeah. up in all the things that we've Watch never the watched. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the classics. I mean, even even if they ended the strike today, there's probably going to be a little you know films are already being pushed. Oh yeah, new no, series. No. It'll take them while to wrap ramp back up. So. It takes a minute. Yeah. For it sure. takes a minute to get that boat chugging again. So. That's right. Speaking I'll of chug tomorrow, don't worry. Oh, you're going to end tomorrow? Okay, great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Um, hey, you guys. Let's jump into the old mail sack. We mail. I have a, an email oh. from Heather, hmm. which I, I'm glad Heather wrote this because I've been meaning to uh, say this to Tara or mention this to Tara. Nerd News, Katie Sackhoff. Hello, mm. nerds. You probably have already heard, but Katie Sackhoff is joining you in the podcast world. <laughs> it will be called blah, 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 Katie.com. And her first one will be live from the San Diego Comic Con. If Grogu shows up, he's going to need a lot more text to talk buttons. <laughs> Enjoy the week, Heather. Yeah, because Tara nice. and I are going to San Diego Comic Con. So I, I have seen things about Katie Sackhoff doing something there, but I haven't really followed up yeah. on like where and when and mm -hmm. whatnot. But it might be something we might want to well, check out if it's... Yeah, you can you can doable. Watch it live. You go to her website. Blah, oh wait blah, a minute, blah, Katie. It's forty dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, oh. no, the, well, the uh, attendant person is forty bucks. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh wait, that's not even like in person person. Like 
one-on-one -on -one chat with Katie. Oh. That's not like in person watching it. Thirty dollars gets you a an ex, I guess live stream what? plus this is uh, interesting. Plus join Katie post show for private discussion in her car. I'm guessing that means virtually <laughs> in her car. You get a virtual car ride with Katie it's for fifteen dollars. You can basically listen to it. So eh, you know. Huh. Uh, I so guess. for fifteen dollars, you get to live stream it at a place in San Diego, but I don't think it's like a live show that you're watching. It says attend in person. The American Comedy Company attend in person forty bucks. But you're attending well, a live 50? stream in person. A live stream. Okay. No, it is in person. Okay, forty dollars in person Saturday at four p.m. A two drink minimum. You can actually oh. watch it in person. Oh, it's a comedy club. VIP sold out. Sense. Elite sold out. Well, okay. General admission is there. Well, we have our other party on. We have Saturday. a party commitment. Yeah. The Disney. And you party. also get a. But well, she's selling out, so she's doing all right. That's I, good. I like Katie Sackoff. Yeah, I love Katie. Um, I want mine here in her, but yeah, yeah. We do have a party, D twenty three party called like Hellfire Club or something. Yeah, yeah. it's like an like X Men. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm excited it's a, for a that. fancy schmancy nightclub. What is that for? What time is our party? Well, it's actually not till I don't know. I'm looking it up. Yeah, look it up. It's not till later. <laughs> look it up. I mean, it's not till <laughs> eight. So we could technically do both. As we'll talk about later, um, we might not have m many panels with <laughs> actors on them to go see. So maybe we need more things like this. This is true. Yeah, that'll be fun. I wonder who she's yeah. talking to. Though. Yeah, it says uh, Showtime 4. Who are the doors guests? open at 3.15. So, you know. Hey. Good. Where is this? Uh, I mean, we could take this offline. But, like, where is this uh, <laughs> compared Can to our we? hotel? <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll look it up. There you I'll go. See? You. Look at that. Thank because you, Heather. I, look at you've the done. American Comedy Company. I'm going to look into that. Thank you, wow. Heather. Because I have been seeing that, and I... Have neglected. Let's take a look at that after action. Yeah, after we're Sarah. done here with take this a, thing we're doing right now, live. Um, it's not far. With I mean, special it's... secret surprise guests. <gasps> that would be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's just. I bet it's Trish uh... Hill. <laughs> oh, it's kind of up close to the. Uh, it, it's actually, you know what, Tara? Again, we can take this offline, but I don't think it's our <laughs> our party. Oh, I figured it was kind of <laughs> up there. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we can party hop. We get two drinks here, right? It's two literally drink uh, uh, like a block away. Oh, hell yes. Block and a half away. Hell so. yes. Give me these yeah. GA tickets. The <laughs> VIPs are sold out. Uh, That's fine. Let are me they? check. Because it's a yeah, five the, the, the upper level. Wait, what? All right, we could take this offline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take good. it, take a look. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, okay. we'll report we'll back, that. Heather. We might have a review Thank you, Heather. of the yeah. podcast. Thank you very good much. Good job, Heather. Okay, is the next one me? Oh no, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> now she's all discombobulated. I'm excited. Okay, where are my emails? <laughs> all right, I got one from AK. AK says, watch your my lieges. I always want to, I always want to do it in the accent, but I just, I can't. I mean, you could try. No, it's, <laughs> it's too bad. All right. I can't believe how badly you fluffed last week's <laughs> Hey Beck. Poor Beck. Mm -hmm. As one we of the many it. who have boomeranged back to the parents after university, she has my sympathy. Mm -hmm. Don't be rubbing salt in the wound by fucking up her <laughs> weekly ritual greeting. That's just rude. I mean, fucking it up by more than the usual degree, you know? Wow. Not even trying. Harsh. <laughs> Especially since you made her move home. Rude. <sighs> Aliens, huh? I mean, life of some sort elsewhere in the universe? Sure. Weird humanoids arriving in the U.S.? Probably not on balance. Uh, plenty of weird humanoids there already. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, there are lots of weird humanoids here. Mm -hmm. Uh present company included um okay the continuing i'm so sorry about all the bullshit with the dodgers especially cat as a lifelong fan you sound so totally betrayed it's a little heartbreaking <laughs> the dodgers are clearly not especially happy about any of it 
but they've handled it very badly. I will be interested to hear what goes down at the Christian Faith and Family Night. Talking about uh, old uh, Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> that sounds like prejudice against families that aren't Christians or Christians who have no families. Uh, either way, surely that's not allowed. A double standard can't be in effect. Surely that would never happen. No. This week, we, the collective slash the indoctrination crew and I, watched the <laughs> Xena episode Blind Faith. Subtext queerness left and right and center. I mm. like it. I can't recall the names of the lads, but they were, pre they were pretty fabulous. <laughs> Max generously offered to reenact the eye-sponging scene with me. <laughs> which I must admit is one of the more unexpected forms of distraction they've suggested. <laughs> I decline. Getting weird shit in my eyes is a Zenite step too far. <laughs> I have to be able to watch this stuff, right? I love the hot seat. You guys make me chortle. It's not so much the highly informative nature of it as so much as the back chat. Waking up on the space station was an excellent call. I like it. So Kat B really surprised me when she chose my body swap choice. Possibly only the only thing she and I have in common. <laughs> Can't remember what it was. What I was it? I'm trying to th no. think. We'll have to check the tape. Shit. On your guys. <laughs> Keep up the good snop. AK. <laughs> Thank you, AK. And you're right. We deserved all that uh, that dressing down you just gave us about poor Beck. So we deserve mm -hmm. it. And again, we're hey. very sorry. That was memorably you know bad. I, like, I am yeah. someone who boomerang back to the parents, so I'm not oh, judging. Too. I'm too. not judging anything. I did a bit of boomeranging myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey, it's my turn. Oh. <laughs> uh, my email. <clears throat> Here it comes. You guys ready? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Here it is. I found it. Uh, this subject is a little cheering up. Uh, this is Hi Cat. In view of so many Pride events being for profit nowadays, I thought I'd share a photo of the screensaver from my workplace. This is from Max, by the way, and I have permission to share this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I asked. <laughs> uh, from my workplace. The NHS, which stands for National Health Service, is very much nonprofit and overall moving towards LGBTQ plus inclusivity. We also have a relatively new trans group where I live, just came home from their first birthday party. It's really cute. Funded by the council and very much purely existing to support the most marginalized group of the pride family. So I guess the good stuff is out there, just not as loud and visible as the big party things. I hope this cheers you up a bit, Max. That's very sweet. And thank you, Max. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, guys, I know I don't really show my emotions too much on this podcast. But Max clearly picked up on the fact that I was a little down this pride because, you know, just there's a lot, not a lot of things to be that excited about. Uh, so thank you, Max. This did cheer me up. You're very sweet. And I appreciate it. And yes, of course, there are so many positive, good things happening out there in our community this time of year. So, you, you know, you got to look for them, but they're there. And I needed that reminding. Thank you, Max. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And thank you. I think. Oh, go ahead. After you. No, well, I was just gonna say I think there's a lot of things like you the the big boisterous things get all the headlines, but any mm -hmm. anything that makes headlines, there's all sorts of just little groups doing things that aren't seeking the publicity and are just right. doing things for the right reason. And it's it's always good to find those that just want to be supportive in in any capacity without you know absolutely making, making headlines. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's know they're out there. And as a person that works at a hospital. Um, what? whenever that, I see does? articles and research, oh, uh, no, when this is Tara, TV? Oh. uh, from NHS, which is, you know, I think in I England, the UK, um, I'm always like, God damn it. I wish they'd hired me. That's Aww. my in. Give me an NHS. They just <laughs> get my visa. What, what can I do for you that no one else can do? You need yeah. Experience, uh, get slide in there. That's my in. Max I'm so of, jealous. Max has to help work for NHS. So, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. I have an email from oh. Anonymous Beer Bagger 2. Possible show recommendation? <laughs> Anonymous Beer Bagger 2 says, Have you guys watched American Born Chinese? I recently finished it and loved it. There's no queer content, but it has great nerd content. Plus, you can't go wrong with Michelle Yeoh and Ki-Hui oh, Kwan. Right. They haven't announced season two yet. 
Ewake one? Uh, I haven't announced season two yet, but I saw an article today that episodes will stream on ABC and Hulu as mm. well as Disney+. Plus. I think Disney wants to keep it going. The story, the mm. season one storyline gets resolved, so it feels complete, even though they left an opening to keep the story going. Thanks. Oh, no, no, it's Bear Bear 2. Um, I do want to watch that. I haven't yet, but that's one that I definitely want to watch. I'm so behind on all my shows. Same. That uh, I have just not done it, but I plan to, because I do want to watch that. I like the cast, and I'm interested to watch it. Yeah, it looks really cute. Um, well, mm -hmm. Definitely have to catch that. What great timing, too, that they had uh, Michelle and Kiwi uh, Kwan. And I, is Stephanie Shu in there to some capacity? Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Really? I mean, a tiny bit. Yeah. Was this I watched I mean, the first four, no after the four or five episodes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, I, I really like it. I, I, I plan talking. to go back to it. Um, it's very quirky. It's very um, fantastical, you know. Um, uh, it's it's different. It has definitely has a different vibe to it, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. I think it is definitely co very compelling, hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it's cool. I yeah, I think I left it. I think I got five episodes in, so I got to go back. Oh, I think there's how many a few are there? More. Like eight? I think there's eight. Like yeah, hmm. awesome. but, yeah, I liked it. It was really good and very pretty. Um, yeah. And Michelle Yeoh, of course, is very cool. Um, of yeah. The, yeah. And the episodes are each kind of a little bit, like, different from each other. They have, like, you know, kind of off episodes that are interesting. Like, I didn't know what I was go getting into, like, what it was. I just heard it was really good. Yeah. Um, and then it was definitely, I, I don't really have any expectation, but it definitely, like, wasn't, was not any expectation <laughs> I would have ever had. So, I yeah. Yeah. Um, you kind of, I had to rewind it a couple times to kind of like keep up with what was what was happening. Um, yeah, but it was it's interesting. The I trailer I looks just, really fun. Give it a try. Yeah. Okay. It's on the list. Put it on the list. Well, like I said, we might have time to watch some of these things. We haven't yeah. had time for in the near future, but it is on my list as well. Thanks, Abby. Too. Thank you, Abby. Too. Well, I think uh, I think it's time for some nerd news. Nerd news, nerd news. I repeat, we have breaking nerd news. Cat, yes. you should take the story. Well, really? Because you love your <laughs> Jillian Anderson, and I did do. she turn you gay? Because she turned everybody else gay. <laughs> no, she just confirmed some things. I mean, after okay, I feel like after Joe Polnicek, followed by <laughs> after Zena, then. After uh, then, she was next. Yeah, um, yeah, that's her. That tracks. That sound about right. That sounds about right. Uh, so, according to this uh, uh, Pride dot com article, Jill and Anderson says she's thrilled to be turning fans gay. <laughs> 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 Apparently, there's a hilarious meme pointing out uh, her impact on some of her fans' sapphic desires. I'm reading that. I didn't write that. Sapphic. Sapphic? Sapphic. What did I say? Like Sapphic. 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 Have you never Sapphic. Heard, said the yes, word sapphic? I have, Tara. <laughs> Leave Just me alone. A little concern. <laughs> that seltzer water's getting to you. Uh, yeah. What's in there? You didn't mention the vodka that's in anyway. there. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, have you guys seen this meme? It's really cute. <laughs> yes. I have not. Well, I have now. It's uh, it's basically a line of people waiting for a high five, and there's someone walking towards camera who's handing out those high fives. And the person walking towards us is, is Jillian Anderson, Made Me Gay, and she's high-fiving Gen X, X-Files fans, uh, X-Files fans who are also bisexual, elder millennials, millennials and late bloomers who watch The Fall, and Jay-Z, Gene Milburn. Gen Z, not Gen Z. <laughs> It's very confusing. Thanks, uh, everybody, for listening. <laughs> you can go to SheNerdsOut.com for all your snopping needs. Uh. <laughs> Gen Z, Gene Milburn MILF cohort. Anyway, Jillian Anderson makes people gay. End of article. <laughs> and she, she retweeted that meme and she said, did. always thrilled to be of service. Or yes. since she's now British, always thrilled to be of service or whatever she would say. I'm like, <laughs> 
Uh, even Jane Lynch wrote, I was always gay, but she solidified my gay. Right. I think it's more of point being cute. part, it's mentioned in here, being part of like the gay, so your gay awakening. Like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like, yes, yeah, solidifying it um, or confirming. <laughs> Another uh, fan tweeted, a rainbow t-shirt won't make your kids gay, but Jillian Anderson as Stella Gibson on the fall will. Mm. It's true. Um, no, it's very cute. And she's always been, uh, I mean, I think she identifies as queer. I know she had relationships with women when she was younger. She's been very open about that. Um, so no, she's obviously a great advocate, if not an uh, awesome uh, you know, member of our queer community and she embraces it and i think it's great and i love her so much mm -hmm. isn't it weird to see you know back in the day when she was just a little scully and you know what i still stand by my favorite scully season is early season two pregnant scully where they hit it it's so interesting oh. <laughs> and listen, that was my favorite days of the show and that's but, great and now I'm she's not gonna like this yuck your young, model, so. role model you i know, know? She's she really awesome. is she's an icon mm -hmm. and did you ever her. meet her cat I have not met Jillian yet. I did get to meet her at a Dallas convention. It's very and cool. Very I remember Dallas. there were two guys dressed up like fairies in front of me. <laughs> and they went to a bunch of the cons in Dallas. And she wanted her picture with them, like with her camera. She's like, I have to get my pictures with you. And um, she was just lovely. She was just lovely. It was That's great so to cute. meet her. That's awesome. And, I will meet um, her one day. I know that I will. Yeah. She's very cool. She's I'll tell her all about my sapphic dreams. <laughs> Good old Jillian. I'm happy for her. She could have just like been like, oh, remember that Jillian Anderson who was in the X-Files all those years ago? But no, Jillian's still bringing it. She really is. She's doing great. She was in the, uh, what was it, The Crown? Yeah. Uh, she's had a bunch Usually of like BBC. Margaret Thatcher or something? Yeah, mm -hmm. she played Margaret. That's right. Yeah. And people are like, I can't believe I'm about to find Margaret Thatcher hot. <laughs> after she was exactly. Cast. Um, yeah, she's great. I need to finish the fall. I never finished the fall. That's good and creepy. Yeah. It's good stuff. So good job, Jillian. Way to go. Way to What's go. David doing nowadays? I don't even know. He's got a movie coming out, actually. <gasps> what? Something about like Bucky Dent or something. Like, hello, oh, and dear. he has an album, too. Oh, he's now, he's David. doing music now, too. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, David. He's always the singer. But no, he Silly pops band. up every now and then. He's I guess. Some he does his stuff. Either yeah, way, you know, he's doing his thing. God bless you, Jillian. <laughs> we have a new hope guys oh really a new hope for the galactic star cruiser mm. the ill-fated mm. short-lived <laughs> disney <laughs> experience as you will say um uh, uh let me read his title okay. chairman of disney parks experiences and products that's a lot that's on a your lot. plate yeah mm -hmm. typical uh, Josh disney man D amara which i think is being groomed so to speak to take over from eisner eichner what's his name <laughs> it's not michael eichner. eisner uh is it michael eisner no i think so mm -mm. did you say no. chairman of disney experiences and products that's kind of everything yeah. isn't it, it is, i know it it's a well, lot so I'm, that's what i'm saying it's uh what does the other guy do Parks, experiences, and products. They all do other things, but huh. he just tells them what to do. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm looking Robert, at not Robert Iger. Robert Iger. Michael Eisner. <laughs> yeah, that was like years ago. <laughs> he was the head of Disney okay, like he was 20 in years charge. ago. Yeah. That's right. Uh, anyway. I think they're they're because he the guy you're talking about quit and then they hired another guy that just everybody hated and he was starting to run Disney into the ground. So they got Bob rid of him. Epic. Yeah, Chapic, and they brought whatever say Safik. Uh, they brought <laughs> the other guy back, but I really think the Amaro is is going to be taking over at some point. But he's the guy. Uh, he says, "Raise the bar. Try things that the guests weren't aren't even asking for because uh -huh. they don't know to ask for that." I know not everything's going to work. Dumb. They're stupid, but we're not. We're going to ignore no, what we they're thought. actually asking for. <laughs> what did work, though? But I kind of like this. Like, okay, we tried new things. This we're going to give people work, what though. they don't want. Yeah. Smart. We took, is we took creativity and storytelling to a completely new level, to a level that has never existed before. Mm. It didn't work commercially. And so when we realized <laughs> that, you just make a call and move on. They asked what, what was going to happen to the uh, now closed ho or soon to be closed hotel. He says, no hints yet. Yet. De Amaro said with a smile, mm. but something will happen. Mm -hmm. 
So we'll see what that may be. It's going to close September 28th. <sighs> and I like how when they announced that was the final voyage, it quickly sold out. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> so I'm sure. Now they want to do it. But uh, anyway... We'll see what happens. But I, I like that they're not just going to demolish the thing. It says it will be a $300 million tax write-off. Wow. So, I mean, okay. I'm not wondering. And again, you know, Disney really doesn't have money to pay those riders. So everybody, yeah. feel right. bad for Disney. Just use that right there. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> but you know, maybe they'll turn it into an experience or a hotel, a plain old hotel. No, because just... they know that's what you want. That's so what they're gonna. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We want to give you what you don't even know you yeah. want. So what do we People... not know that we want? Guys? <laughs> I want to know. Well, you know, we we said we wanted. When they said they're going to build this new land, we said we wanted like, oh, how cool we're going to be able to like. Like pretend like we're there with like who uh, Luke Han and Leia and like yeah. hang out with them and like you know it's gonna be so cool uh, you know would be like on Tatooine it's gonna be so fun you know what and they're like no you don't know what you need you need a completely random world that feels completely mm-hmm. unfamiliar and no is completely to. Uh, charmless <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's what you no. really want. We're not going to let you pretend like you're really there. Yeah. (laughs) And we're going to sell you Uh, things that have the name of this world on there, even though Uh, you don't want things to say Hoth or Tatooine. You want whatever this place is. too. You don't want anything, any cool meta gear that like you were on Hoth or like climbed a mountain at Hoth or some fun thing. (laughs) No way. You want random Black Spire market (laughs) stuff. I never thought of that, Tara, but now I want a meta thing that says I climbed a mountain in Hoth. Uh, right? How That's cool awesome. would that be? That's pretty good. Like, because they have, like, things on Etsy you can get, like, Hoth Ski School mm-hmm. or something yeah. like that, <laughs> you know? But, like, how cool would it be if they, that was, like, a fucking ride at the park? Mm. That would be how about you have a Millennium Falcon ride that actually acknowledges that oh Han my Solo God. existed <laughs> instead That's... of some random smuggler who now drives the Falcon? Right. And maybe you get a shot, like a little uh, animatronic Chewie. I don't even remember. But there's, there's literally no Han Solo anywhere around. Not even Lando. There's zero anywhere classic characters in there. Yeah. <laughs> they are bringing some. They are. I just saw that they're, I mean, they've brought Ray in. I don't, they've never it's brought classic. a Han. Honestly, who's going to be a Han? <laughs> classic. They have the droid. I, mean, I love oh, Ray, but like. I don't know if they've ever had. Um, I mean, Chewie's been a 3PO. Around. Chewie's around, but yeah. yeah, even the droids are just like random droids. It's like you feel totally disconnected when you're there, and it's kind of—I mean, it's just, I guess, interesting to be in the space. But they could have so much potential. But you know what? Maybe yeah. we're just not there yet. We just can't we know fully process how much we appreciate yeah. it yet. You actually love it, Tara. You just don't know that you love it. Oh, right. It's not not You'll there learn yet. Learn to love it. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Future or... me will love <gasps> it. Well, but we'll see. Breaking news? Um, no, Uh-oh. but I will say this: the critical reviews of Indiana Jones <gasps> movie have gone up to sixty-six percent. From what? Oh, like it was, at some point it was in the forties. Okay, it's, hey. it's nudging up. It's nudging up. Okay, is it in like the tomato part? Like in the or versus the like the green tomato splat? Part. Is it it's, the green it's, it's a, fr- it's a tomato, tomato now. It moved oh, down to the flat. It's a tomato, it's a tomato. everybody. It's a tomato. It's not flat it's a anymore. Tomato. <laughs> By the way, next podcast, uh, I'll have my Indiana Jones review. Ooh. It'll be post I mean, I can leave indie. out spoilers. Huh? Yeah, so it'll yeah. be our first post-indie podcast. No spoilers. I'm seeing... And hopefully Cat. I mean, I know there's I'm like... Trying. You never know. But trying. I got, uh, I got my ticket. We'll Thursday. Yeah. That's the plan. Can't wait. But yeah, it's up to 66. That makes me feel better. Nice. All right, there we go. See? See? Mm. No longer a splat. <laughs> no longer a splat. I can live with that. Woo. <sighs> feel better. <sighs> you know what might be a splat? Uh-oh. It's any oh. Comic-Con. Mm. Mm. I mean, it won't be. It'll be fun. Yeah, no, it'll be fun. There's a lot of people that won't be there. Uh, yeah. You know, little lesser known companies like Marvel. Netflix, mm-hmm. Sony, HBO, Universal. That's crazy. Aren't having panels. Now, I will say this. Uh, it, we never really went to that many of the big panels. Because you know why? You you lose a day of your life just trying to get to the panels. 
<laughs> We've never been to San Diego Comic Con. Uh, if you want to go to a big presentation that maybe starts at three in the afternoon, a lot of times you have to start lining up the night before mm-hmm. or the evening before to get a wristband or camp out or whatever yeah. you do. And then you get to the panel room as soon as it opens and you get your seat and you sit there all day. Mm-hmm. There might be a panel that there are only a few people that really care about their pan- that panel. Mm-hmm. But they've got a huge audience because everybody's in there waiting for the panel that doesn't start till three. And yeah. the true fans of that panel may not get to see it because all the people that want to see the later panel are taking up the seats. But anyway, so we never tried that hard to go to the big Hall H, which is where they have the biggest, like the Marvel panels. Um, so we never did that because it was so hard to get it yeah. to. So it probably won't affect us as much. They still have their booze. You can go still visit the Lucasfilm booth and buy things. They'll have a presence. They just aren't bringing in actors and promoting things because a lot of the things they might promote, they don't know when or if they're going to happen. And Lucasfilm's not showing up just to say, hey, Ahsoka's coming out in August. Right. You know? yeah. but a lot of money to bring people in, and you don't know when you're going to be making things again. So Yeah, true. And there's an impending strike with SAG, and right. if they do strike, Possibly, yeah. which, might, which they're going to decide on June 30th, mm-hmm. then the actors cannot go to promote any upcoming project. They are not allowed to promote anything while on strike. Yeah. So they would part of, part of their work like part of their contract is promoting and that's null and void if they're striking. Yeah. So yeah, that like, would um, be a big bummer. <laughs> they're saying yeah. Disney, like some of the panels that you might have gotten that won't are like uh Ahsoka would have probably been there. Uh mm-hmm. the Marvels would have been there. Loki season two. On a mansion from Disney, um, HBO True Detective season four. Jody might have been there. And sometimes uh, you get trailers, you get some sort of news drops. Yeah. Like not even if you're not going to the panel, right? Interesting stuff comes out of the That's panel true. that you can then watch on YouTube or something. Yeah, yeah. but not this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's still some things going. I'm still hoping for a uh, Murder at the End of the World panel with trailer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, I mean, there's still <laughs> some things that are going and presenting, but it's. The, the the most disheartening part for me is those Hall H panels took a lot of people out of the dealer's room. Yeah. And away from everything else that we were doing. Oh, and if there's yeah. no giant panel that they're all going to, it's going to be that much more crowded everybody else. And it's sad because, you know, San Diego last year, I mean, they're they're kind of ramping back up after they took, what, two years off during yeah. COVID? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. last year I heard people say, you know, it was it was low. It did. It felt crowded, but. Yeah, it was the attendance was a lot lower. And I'm sure this year they're like, all right, we're getting back on track. And then all of a sudden this just (laughs) killed everything. And so, you know, Uh, and that's why we are trying to find other events to go to. (laughs) Um, And so Wendy, when she uh, said, hey, there's this party at D23 that we could go to. But I don't know. It's like, let's go because, yeah, it's so hard to get into any party there uh if you Seriously. don't if you don't really plan far ahead mm-hmm. i mean not just be able to show up and walk in to some really cool thing um so yeah so we're doing that um and now i mean thanks but i gotta see Katie. katie Zakoff. Zakoff, yeah. yeah that's so, cool so that's yeah. what we're looking for and then the other thing we tell them the other thing wendy that you're excited we're gonna go check out on friday <gasps> oh my gosh okay I'm a Roseanne nerd. I don't know if I've talked about Roseanne on this podcast, but I love me some Roseanne. Yeah. And on their Facebook. The show, not the actress. Yeah, the the show. (laughs) I think Roseanne's back in headlines for saying something else stupid like Trump is the first female president or something. I don't know. But, but the show, Roseanne, is gold up to about season Mm -hmm. six-ish. But, yeah, so on the show, Jackie, Roseanne, Nancy, and their fourth partner, Bev, Roseanne and Jackie's mom, <laughs> their money and started the Lanford Lunchbox, where they served loose meat sandwiches right. and pop in cans. So, out of nowhere, Cozy, which is a sister station Universal, I don't know how they're related, but we show, we have them on our TVs at work. Anyway, they show Roseanne reruns, and they're having a giant Roseanne Lanford Lunchbox pop up. Love it. Thursday, Friday of Comic Con. So, we're driving in Friday. I'm like, we're going straight to that lamb for lunchbox because I don't want to miss it. Uh, you can buy loose meat sandwiches. Mm. Uh, it's no. it's it's set up. I think there's something like you might see a reenactment of the Lanford Days Festival. Oh, cute! In which 
I don't know what they're going to do, but they they went to serve their loose meat sandwiches at the festival, and Loretta Lynn showed up because oh she was a guest at the festival. Okay. And Darlene didn't want to work the booth because she was a vegetarian. She didn't want to serve that meat, but Roseanne <laughs> made her. So anyway, <laughs> uh, so I don't know what all we'll see mm-hmm. there. But you can get a picture on the giant like replica of the couch at the Connor House. That's and great. When I, I saw that. the news, I can't even articulate how excited I was oh. about going to the Land for Lunch back in the land. You can get like t-shirts of the Land for Lunch box. That's so. exciting. I'm so excited for you, Wendy. This Look, like- if you love Roseanne, it's it's a huge... And they even had... Tara and I went to a taping of the Connors uh, oh, before cool. COVID. Nice. And they did a scene in the Land for Lunch box. It's still, it's still going... I don't know if it's still called the Lunch box on the show the way it is now, but... It might be. I don't remember. It still exists in the town. But it was... Uh, That's fun. Back in the day, man, the lunchbox was awesome. So we're going to go yeah. get some loose meat sandwiches. That's exciting. <laughs> Good for you. I'm very excited for this. Send, send pictures, please. Oh, we will. <laughs> we will. I think that wraps up our little show for today. Oh, really? Okay. I'm going to grab a... <laughs> makes myself a loose meat sandwich thinking about it. <laughs> like what, I could make that. What it's is like a loose joes. meat sandwich? Okay. I don't know. Look, Jackie discovered the sandwich on her trucker route when she was a trucker. She brought it home and said, look at this delicious sandwich. <laughs> so then they started their own restaurant. I'm telling you, I can almost quote the scene where they go ask for a loan. <laughs> it's amazing. It's comedy gold. <laughs> well, we but know anyway. how, how I feel about sandwiches. And I mean, one called a <laughs> This is more of a burger. This is a more of a burger. Meat. Like Sloppy Joe. It's like a sloppy joke. Mm. But not as sloppy, though, right? It feels like it's... I don't know. I don't know. We'll, well we find can, out I remember Friday. seeing well, you're them, gonna. Like, throwing them on the bun and... Anyway. Mm. Anyway. Uh, you can find <laughs> us on Twitter. We're at uh, Snop Podcast. At Snop Podcast with one D. And Facebook and Instagram at She Nerds Out Podcast. You can send us an email at she nerds out at gmail.com go to our website she nerds out.com for all your snopping needs we got merch we got old episodes that you can catch up on you can send us a voicemail you can buy us a beer go check it out it's all uh it's you know what it is guys it's snopping in one place mm. well, it's snopping very catchy yeah. it is like snopping in one place yeah <laughs> it's one place you can go to get your snop things put that on a shirt yep okay work on that mm-hmm. all right kids if you want to snop time. go here and that's where it is and then press buy <laughs> and then that you'll get an email confirmation <laughs> we should write our tagline yeah. <laughs> it's very catchy. they're not long and rambly at all <laughs> that's awesome uh, good job uh, uh we'll see you next week you know what we're going to talk about next week the picket uh, the picket xena picket picket and uh, <laughs> our reaction to Indiana Jones. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I can't wait for both. I can't wait either. But till then, she <laughs> nerds out. 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 She nerds out. We're girls that like girls that like dirty things. Dirty things. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. <laughs>